Hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Let us do a question on probability. Probability again is a very important topic for quantitative aptitude for gate 2022. How do we define probability of any event? How do we calculate probability? We are looking for the favorable outcomes. That means the outcome that we want, the event space and we are looking for the total number of outcomes, right? Which is also known as the sample space. And then the probability is given by the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of total outcomes or the number of elements in the event space divided by the number of elements in the sample space, right? That's the basic definition of probability. A very important topic for gate 2022. Let us look at a question. In a mathematics class of 30 students, 17 are boys and 13 are girls. In a unit test, 4 boys and 5 girls made an A grade, got an A grade. If a student is chosen at random from the class, what is the probability of choosing a girl or an A grade student, right? So we have 30 students in a class of which 17 are boys and 13 are girls. Now out of these students, 4 boys and 5 girls got an A grade in a test that was conducted. So if a student is chosen at random, what is the probability of choosing a girl or an A grade student? So pause the video, try to attempt the question on your own and after you've made your full attempt, only then play the video and cross check the solution, right? So let's see, we have got 30 students in total. Of this 30, 17 are boys and 13 are girls, right? Also, we know that out of these 34 boys and 5 girls, got an A grade. This is what we know, right? Now we want to find out the probability of choosing a girl or an A grade student. So the important word here is or, right? So the probability of selecting a girl or, what is or? Is or plus or is it multiplication? We know or means addition and multiplication means and. Right? Or means addition and means multiplication. So here we want or. So we are going to add this with the probability of selecting an A grade student. Right? So how many girls are there? Total number of girls is 13. So the probability of selecting a girl out of these 30 students is 13 by 30. What about A grade? How many A grade students are there? We saw the total number of A grade students are 4 plus 5, 9. So selecting 9 of this 30. So we have 9 by 30. This is going to be equal to 22 by 30. So 22 by 30 is option number D. Is this the correct answer? Is this the correct answer 22 by 30? Think about it. No. Why not? Why not? Because here there is an intersection between the number of girls and A grade students. What does that mean? There are girls who are A grade students. So these five girls who are A grade students have been counted in this probability and these five girls have also been counted in the probability of selecting girls. So there is a double counting involved for these five girls. Is this clear? So we want to look at the probability of selecting either a girl or an A grade student. But what about those girls who are A grade students? Right? So that's an intersection between them. So how do we account for that intersection or how do we account for that double counting? I'm going to subtract the probability of a girl who has got an A grade. So I have to subtract the possibility of selecting a girl who is also an A grade holder. So how many girls have got A grade? Five girls. So what is the probability of selecting girls who have got A grade? The probability is 5 upon 30. And I want to subtract this from the probability that we have just calculated. So this is going to be 17 upon 30. And the correct answer is going to be option number A. Is this clear? So let's do a recap. So we want to find out the probability of choosing a girl 
or an A grade student. So you need to first see whether there is any intersection possible between these two events. Is it possible that there are girls who are A grade students? Yes, it is possible. So we need to account for that also. So the probability of selecting a girl is total 13 girls out of 30. So 13 by 30. Plus, because we are doing an OR, the probability of selecting an A grade student, total 9 students are A grade out of this 30. So plus 9 by 30. And we have to subtract those girls who are A grade students. Right? So we're subtracting the probability of a girl who has an A grade. So there are 5 girls who have an A grade. So 5 upon 30. And that gives us 17 upon 30 as the final answer. Is this clear? Why are we doing this subtraction? Because these girls who have gotten A grade have been counted twice. They have been counted in probability of girl also. They have been counted in the probability of A grade also. So we need to subtract one calculation or we need to subtract one counting of these girls. So here is the practice question for you. An elevator starts with 5 passengers and stops at 8 different floors of a house. Find out the probability that all the 5 passengers alighted at different floors. So we have 5 passengers and 8 floors. What is the probability that all the 5 passengers got down or alighted the elevator at different floors? Right? The options are 101 upon 512. 105 upon 512, 107 upon 512 or 109 upon 512. So do try this question. Write down your answer and solution in the comment section below and cross check it with the solution and answer that we will be giving. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you tomorrow with another question of quantitative aptitude. Take care. All the best.